Hi, everyone. I'm Steve here with Nicole, the gut girl. Thanks for being with us, Nicole. Thanks for having me. All right, we're going to talk about, it's been a fairly hot topic for about a year, and you've actually seen this, you know, off camera. You gave me some really good examples of some bizarre stuff that people do in gyms. Now, the gym is such a positive place, yes. you know, but you always got that one whack ball slash strange person doing odd stuff in the gym. Yes. And uh, we've talked a little bit about, I have anyway, about Joey Swole, who does some pretty good content about it, calling people out about their bad behavior in the gym. I think he's mostly on TikTok and Instagram. Uh, but, um, you know, one of the things is women setting up their tripod and they're pointing it at the direction basically of some men or a man, a man, and then they go get in between there and they're bending over and you know, kind of sticking stuff out. And it's almost like it's a trap to get the guy to glance over. Well, first of all, of course, you're doing something like that. Everyone's going to glance. And before I get your take on this, let me just talk about me a little bit. And that's, I've been in this business forever. If I'm driving down the road and I see someone jogging, I always look male or female, you know, I'm, I, that doesn't mean I'm gay. It doesn't mean that I'm trying to, you know, I want to creep at this woman that's jogging by. I'm going, Oh, wow. She's overweight. Good for her. She's jogging. Uh, oh, she's very fit. She looks great. He looks great. great. Good job. job. You know, so um, I'm, I'm analyzing. It's, it's what I do. I'm in the business. People in the gym, and we talked about this, if, if I see someone who's really overweight, I look. Why? But that's an admiration look, right. not a shame look. Not at all. Uh, that's, a, that's an attaboy look or an girl look. So when you do weird things in the gym, people are going to look. Now, I have not seen any weird things in any of our gyms, but you have. Uh, tell us a little bit about your experience. In, and you're in Gardnerville. That's a dinky yeah. little town. Yeah, my office is located inside a gym. And so I, I get to see the, the gamut of everything. Plus, you know, but other people might know, I, I've been in the gym atmosphere as a personal trainer for a very long time. So I've seen a lot of this, but I have definitely noticed that this has ramped up in the last year. We've had several situations in here of, um, I've had one person who has brought in an emotional support dog and then complains when people, two things, when people want to touch the dog or when people look at her with the dog. Uh, okay, you're bringing an outside animal in that's not, a service dog it doesn't have a vest on it doesn't anything so if someone looks at her she has then complained that they're looking at her so therein lies a huge problem with if you're going to do odd things people are going to look I have another guy in here that literally I'm not kidding it is the loudest grunt I have ever heard and at one point I thought he was hurting himself so I walked out of my office to check and he had a very minimal amount of weight that to me is just looking for attention in his direction so for sure. of course we're going to look I don't care if you're lifting 10 pounds or 110 pounds if you're making that kind of noise I'm gonna look and also you're disturbing other people they're coming to the gym to just work out the majority of people we also have now a ton of women setting up video ca cameras in every aspect of the gym, videoing themselves for TikTok, for other social media platforms. And they, so they want to be looked out on social media, but if a man looks at them, they're complaining. Yeah, and you're in a small gym. I have yeah. never seen that in any of our gyms. I mean, there's some weird stuff that happens, but. And, and our gyms are big. I mean, we're talking tens of thousands of people. Yeah. You know? And, but you said something interesting also about the woman with the dog that she would put water out for the dog all over yes. the gym. 
Yes, there's water and then, in front of her. Which, and then she's going to complain, you stepped in my dog's water. Well, there's yeah. 20 of them all over the gym. Does that happen? Yes. Abs and she brings different types of protein drinks for different aspects of when she's working out. So you've got different protein drinks all over the place and you've got dog bowls everywhere for water. And I'm thinking this is insanity because people are having a hard time walking around them, having a hard time putting their weights next to it. So in my opinion, those people have a bigger beef than the actual person that's doing the look at me, look at me. It creates a humongous problem for us. Yeah, and I mean, if, if that's not narcissistic behavior, I don't know what is. This woman's going, I'm the only one that matters. Yes. You know, I own the whole place. And it's funny because they'll actually say stuff to people that go, ma'am, could you please move your dog's water? Or, you don't own the gym. Yeah. I, won but I wonder. I'm just waiting for someone to say that to me someday. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we. Uh, I have seen my fair share of it in our little town of Gardnerville. It's gotten really bad. And I don't know if it's because it's the little town of Gardnerville. People are wanting to be, you know, big influencers and that kind of stuff. But I, I am seeing a lot of it. And it's, it, it kind of blows me away. <laughs> I just want to come to the gym and work out. <laughs> I don't yeah. want to dodge video cameras and people saying they're being looked at when they're not being looked at and the huge grunters and the other people who just slam weights everywhere. It drives me nuts. That's crazy. And you're in a small gym, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, I don't know, the, the, the gym is a great place to be. And uh, I don't know, it, it just... It, it, there's always funny things that you're going to see out in public everywhere, yes. but we have some rules, but our rules are very basic because I have never seen this problem. And I'm so thankful that we have, my partners will say, Oh yeah, you, you, we see some weird stuff, but it, not like this, not like what you're talking about, but here we have some simple rules for clothing. Um, make sure your toes are covered mm -hmm. and don't wear jeans, you know, that make sure your toes don't wear flip flops because you, you know, some could fall on your toe. Right. One rule. The second rule is don't wear jeans. Why? Because you're going to scuff up and cut the, the upholstery and we have to right. replace it. That's it. Two rules. And, um, it's never been a problem. I mean, people wear what's comfortable. Um, I'm not saying that, uh, some people don't wear thin or, you know, minimal amounts of, clothes or covering, but like tank tops aren't even in, you, you don't no. see guys wearing tank tops anywhere. Cause they're like, you know, you're wearing a tank top, you're a dork, you know? Um, but it's never been a problem as far as clothing and the filming, you can film in our gyms, but I've never, except for me, the only person I've seen set up a tripod is me, Yeah, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And our staff members are required to do certain videos on certain days. You know, we have flex Friday and all these different days for posting on social media for marketing. Sure. But I'm the only one I've seen set up a tripod in any of our gyms. So, um, I don't know. Our, our rule is, yeah, you can film, you know, if it's nice to say, Hey, just tell the front desk, Hey, I'm going to be filming. This is what I'm doing, but that's great. You know, but we don't have a rule that says you can't film in the gym, but a lot of, a lot of gyms have those rules now. Yeah. Because it's getting out of hand. It's, it is getting, there are some people who are having her using it in the wrong context and then going, well, what do you mean? I'm not doing anything bad. It, it's, it's getting out of control. Yeah. It's just blame shifting. It's his fault. He looked at yes. me. Yes. Yeah, so did everyone else. Yes, because if you're going to do odd things, people are going to look. And trust me, do not take this out of context. I do not think that girls who wear minimal clothes should have anything bad happen to them. 
But of course. if you come into a gym barely wearing anything, somebody's bound to look. That that's not your it's not that you're asking for it, but literally people are going to look. If you dance around the gym and do odd things, if you swing off the cables, people are going to look. They are. Yeah, yeah especially if you're dancing around the gym, people are going to look. It's yes. just human nature. It's we're, not a dance club, it's a gym. We're people, you know, and when you do something like dancing in the gym, uh, <laughs> people are going to look at you. Yes. And, and so don't get upset, <laughs> you know. Right. Uh, anyway, it's an interesting topic and uh, it's always a fun one to talk about and uh, Hey, if you guys have seen, I would love to hear comments about some of the things you've heard in yeah. your gyms. Put them in the comment section um, because this just fascinates me. And I've even seen some of the videos I've watched where guys are at literally carrying around blindfolds. And when yeah. the woman sticks the, the, the camera in their face, they put the blindfold on, you know, yeah. and, you know <laughs> back to their, you know, they can do it with the blindfold on. Uh, it's, and so it's just become kind of a big joke. But uh, Nicole, if people want to get uh, a hold of you, you're a nutritionist and you guys yes. can go see some of the other. We're just doing this one for fun. But yeah, if they absolutely. want to get a hold of you, uh, you'll give you tell them if they say they saw this video, you'll give them one hundred dollars off your program yep. on, you know, you're going to read yeah. their blood. You're going to start and, and help them lose weight. How do they get a hold of you? They can email the gut girl one at gmail.com. All right. I'll put that in the description. Okay. Uh, thanks for being with us, Nicole. Thanks for having me.